Hey guys, this is the Walkthrough House here, bringing you episode number 13 of Adventures with a New. And this time around, I have a texture pack going. If you guys are interested in what texture pack I have, I have John Smith's Lego Legacy for 1.5.1, which leads me to my second news that I got 1.5.1 as well. As you can, um, so 1.4.6, I was playing on the one. Uh, until episode number 12, I was playing on 1.4.6, but from episode 13, I upgraded it up to 1.5.2. Uh, now, in this episode, what I want to do is, first of all, I'm going to go to bed right away. Because I do not want to deal with monsters when I'm trying to take care of chores. One of the first things I want to do right away is, today's episode is going to be basically about livestock uh, basics and how to get your livestock to work and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So. What I want to do is partition my <coughs> cow cow thingamabob I have going here. So I'm just gonna draw. I'm just gonna make a fence right here, and I believe it only has one fence gate. Good. And I'm gonna expand upon my other side by just a little bit. John Smith's texture pack is indeed a very good texture pack. I just have to add that. Just thought you guys would want to know. I mean, just has that feel to it. If you guys don't like it, I can always change. I'm always going to bring a variety of texture packs onto the game. I'm not always going to use this, not always going to use the default one from now on. So, if you guys have any good texture packs that is compatible with 1.5.1, uh, please let me know. And it, it's not 1.5.2. Is 1.5.1, and the reason for that is because I like to use custom land port, and custom land port's not fully well, fully well functioning with uh, 1.5.2 yet. So I'm still in the 1.5.1 stage. Alrighty. So after doing that, you want to create a fence gate. Harp mistakes happen all the time, and then obviously place it place fences all around not all around but on the four sides la 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 I'll place one here for measure so for example if you want chicken let's go over the basics now for example blah 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 ah uh, can't talk today anyway as I was saying example if you want a chicken then you need seeds to attract them if you want pigs you need carrots to attract them and finally if you want sheep you need wheat to attract them so as you can tell I have put two things that attract the same thing like for example the cow and the sheep I was gonna put those the same just because I like it that way and look at how derpy the sheep looks I mean look at it so I have one sheep here and I have another one here I have plenty of sheep to go about in this entire map Come on, man. Oh, well. But anyway, now that we have one sheep following us, I'm going to take him to the base and save him in his shed. Come over here. Through here. Right. In Come on. Alright, so we have him. And so basically you have cows on this side and then and then this guy so what you want to do now is get each of them a partner I don't have any cows around but I can get a partner for a sheep and I'll show you that right when I get myself a cow did I say get myself a cow? I meant to say get myself a sheep but whatever I said I forgot oh well mistakes happen so now that I found another sheep which there's plenty of go about there is two of them that there are two of them that I can work with and when there's two of them what you can do is first of all close the door so that they don't escape give one to this guy and one to this guy and they enter love mode love mode what they do is they get busy and then they give a really cute little sheep who gives out a little, really cute little baby finger like baby thingamabob or the baby sound now you want to collect some flowers and I'll show you some other thing you can do 
and you want flowers and you can do that with roses too but you want flowers and you want to place them in one place of your inventory and you want dandelion yellow that's a color dye what dandelion yellow allows you to do is you go close to a close to close to a sheep and you color him yellow and now every time him and him get busy for example it'll give out a yellow sheep or a white sheep I could be wrong but if I make both of them yellow then they always give out yellow sheep and he will grow up to be a white one so that's how dyeing your sheep works now if you have roses which I do not seem to have any of I'm just gonna get myself another wheat and pull this guy into the shed just for two white and two yellows yay so just pull him into here he's gonna be attracted close the door and there you have it now what you want to do or what I want to do is make a fence and then extend this build again and this time this is not for pe animals that use wheat <coughs> but rather for chickens and I would like to remind you again that sheep and cows are the only one who are attracted by wheat previously pigs used to be attracted by wheat as well but now they are attracted by carrots I think from 1.3 or 1.4 they got attracted by pigs I could be wrong so uh, don't don't hesitate to correct me Just constructive criticism and now we put wolf here we go so you have that you put your seeds in your inventory and let's go collect some chickens I believe I saw some chickens over here I did go off screen and see so that I'm well prepared for this video but um, you know chickens don't like to be all that cooperative like oh I hear chickens there it is so you have two chickens well, follow me and as you can tell they're attracted oh there's three of them they're attracted to me because of seeds and they're like that seed please give it to me like mine that's how they look but anyway move slowly and follow your compass back home it says to move back and you move back and you fall into a puddle wait for them to gain good distance with you so that they don't start ignoring you they'll start ignoring you if you get too far away from them and we got a fourth one to join the group as well mm, that's always nice the one of them's having issues over here big guy yep we all know that one guy in the group okay anyway so it says to move somewhere Oop. in that direction but I now I know where my house is so I'm just gonna move that way as you can see we can see our cottage and the chickens are falling up very nicely I do not want to have to go back and gain one of their gain one of them again because I lost them I don't want to fall into that puddle either so chickens on the other hand there's two ways of gaining baby chickens or small chicks you can either uh, enter them in love mode like I showed you and then do what's required or you can wait for them to lay eggs and then break the eggs to get baby chickens eggs have one eighth of a chance to gain a small chicken so that's not some reliable process but I'm just gonna do that with them and then they're gonna make small babies and you get one experience off of it as you can tell there he is this little small dude so that is basically how you get to breed cows sheep and chickens cows on the are also bred by wheat if I forgot to get go over that pigs on the other hand I still need carrots and as soon as I get carrots I'll go over it right away now what I want to explore is planting pumpkins and planting pumpkins is very important because later in the end of the game you have to go to the end and there's plenty of endermen and the endermen cannot see you through uh, pumpkin hats and you can wear pumpkin hats or <coughs> or whatever and 
if you wear those they cannot see you now I forgot how to make those but that's not important right now the important part is you have pumpkin I think you can also make pumpkin pie but I could be wrong I've never tried to but you want to put these and make them into pumpkin seeds so you have pumpkin seeds and then what you want to do is you want to plant them and it's very different how you plant a pumpkin seed it's uh, very funny actually so I'm not gonna plant a lot of pumpkins because you don't need pumpkin like you need food you, you know you only need a little bit of it so it I want to go and get my hoe that I did not have on me I'm gonna plant it down there anyway uh, no I don't think I want to plant it down there actually I might hmm it's a good question uh, put my dandelions away, put my flowers away, put my sweet away, put my egg away, and put my seeds away. So now that you have pumpkin seeds, then you need a stone hoe, or you need a hoe in general, not doesn't have to be stone hoe. Have that. And what you want to do is, for example, you go out and you have a land next to water. I'm just gonna pick a random land that's next to water uh, which I have got going somewhere around here I think. Yay there you go. So what you wanna do is first of all dig this guy out and two out and that should be good. Dig this guy out and have that equipped so what you want to do is very simple and you take your stone hoe and you basically just do that and then plant the pumpkin seed eventually they'll grow big and the remaining product will be on these three or these three could be wrong but I, that's you know there's one way of getting pumpkins anyway that's how you plant pumpkins. There's more complex ways of doing it, and Minecraft Wiki has a very good explanation on how to do it. It's just they don't have pictures lately, but that's one of the basic ways a pumpkin uh, pumpkin farm is what I mean is built. Um, later, I will further make my pumpkin farm even advanced when I have watermelon farms. But so far, I don't really have watermelon with me, so I'm gonna for I'm gonna explore that ground later. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.